Hey Monica, I really liked your video last week and it inspired me to show you all the hats that I never wear. What I really liked about your video was as I watched it, it reminded me of a character that I saw in a movie. And then it reminded me of another character I saw in another movie. And then it reminded me of another character I saw in yet another movie. And it dawned on me that you had unearthed a really fantastic literary theme. And the character that really brings it to light is Thor. In the very first movie, he um, displeases his father and he gets grounded from his magic hammer. The magic hammer that is a source of all awesomeness for him and magical lightning powers and all of that. And he has to live with the ordinary humans and um, figure out a way to be, you know, decent in order to earn back his hammer. So you, you know, come to think that the hammer is the source of his power. But in Thor Ragnarok, several movies later, his sister, Evil, destroys his hammer, just crushes it. And he is without power and he doesn't know what to do until his father or the ghost of his father points out that the hammer was never the source of his power, that he had the power inside himself all along. Have you ever seen Kung Fu Panda? Poe's relationship with the Dragon Scroll is very much the same sort of thing that he thinks that it is the source of new power and will make him the ultimate Kung Fu warrior. But really, when he gets the scroll, it's blank. And he can't figure out what that's about until his duck dad tells him the secret ingredient to the soup is that there is no secret ingredient. That the blank scroll is in fact an empty object to remind Poe that the power was in him all along. And Dumbo was the third one I thought of. And it was really obvious from that movie exactly what was going on because the mouse, I forget his name, gave Dumbo the feather and said the feather was the power to his flying because he didn't believe that he could fly. And then when he lost the feather, the mouse had to explain to him it was inside him all along. When you're dealing with major literary themes like that, it has usually some grounding in reality. People have status symbols and all kinds of good luck objects that they imbue with power. They can't see what they're capable of until they're holding the thing that they believe is the actual source of that power. It's really hard to believe that that comes from within you. And this goes all the way down to the basic placebo effect, that we don't really have full access to what our bodies and minds can do, but through some physical object, we can find that. We all get insecure, everybody. We all have moments where we don't really quite believe in our capability to do something. And, and sometimes we do need those training wheels of an object that gives us the, the confidence that we need to, to walk into that board meeting or that interview room. In the end, wouldn't it be great if none of us needed fronts, that none of us needed objects, that all of us felt secure and safe and open, that we could just be ourselves. Until then, I think you're really onto something just to be aware of how these things affect how we perceive ourselves and to pay attention to that. Monica, you are amazing. And I know that when you know that you're amazing, it won't matter what hat you're wearing. You can wear any hat you want because you will be your warm, vivacious, amazing self. And the hat is just an empty scroll. It is just a feather. It is just a hammer. It is the training wheels that you no longer need.